I'm Matt. I'm Lloyd. I'm Ebert. I'm Paul. All right, and we have here a warehouse simulator. And the way this, this ought to operate is that this will move left or right, up or down, however it's required to grab a tool. Once it goes in and grabs it, it'll come out, swing around, deposit it to whatever we have waiting for it, return home, and then repeat the process as many times as necessary. And now Paul, Ephraim. I'm gonna go over the accomplishments for the uh, project. So first we began by tracing all the pneumatic valves, see what, um, which, which valve applied to which breaker, which motor, and so forth, and the claws. Uh, with the help of the machining department, we were able to, we were able to get these brackets machined for us to apply our proximity sensors. And additionally, we were able to complete, populate, and mount a PLC enclosure We were able to mount and populate our HMI panels. We were able to um, populate our terminals, our sensors, our controllers, and our power supplies. And finally, we were able to apply another uh, emergency stop on the right-hand side of the project. So in case for whatever side you're on, you'll be able to emergency stop the process. And then Paul will go to our emergency things. Okay, what we haven't been able to accomplish is final wiring from the sensors on the arm here. We haven't, uh, we have an air solenoid as a safe, safety device that will actually work with the e-stops also. That goes on the air system hose. We also haven't been able to mount the drive motors. This is drive motor two. Drive motor one will be right here in the mounting bracket. We just got through the couplers, but what needs to be done is drill and tap the new mounting lo hole locations for the new drives. We also have not been able to finish wiring the enclosure as far as the power uh, indicator, the start stop, and the emergency stop. The other thing that hasn't been done is actually doing the programming of the motor since they're not installed. So in conclusion, why will? Yes, so due, due to the limited time we have, which is only 16 weeks in the semester, we can only do so much. And also when it comes to ordering and trying to just figure out how to even implement this entire project. However, we were able to um, get most of the wiring done. And what we were able to accomplish was we were able to um, connect the wiring to the PLC and we were able to get all of our horizontal sensors, our proximity sensors working, and our vertical sensors as well. Also, there was no logic created for the program as of yet. However, there is a dedicated um, program called Com Connected Components Workbench, or CCW. And the laptop that you will be using next semester will be this. As you can see over here, um, this one has your subnet and your IP address that we already locked into the program. So all you have to do is just um, start writing the program into structured text. And, um, and this is where we left off so far. And over here is um, just a draw, um, just a markup of what we've done so far. This will pretty much just tell you what um, what has what has been done and also if there's anything you want to um any notes or any suggestions that you want to do this is a great tool for you to um to uh, make progress on the on the simulator and that's it